So today I'm going to show you how to make two kinds of freezer jam. One is a no pectin uh, jam that you cook over the stovetop, and the other one has pectin and it's a no cook. So let's get started. So the first thing I did to make the no pectin freezer jam was add four cups of defrosted mixed berries into a saucepan. And then I took this little meat masher tool and I smashed them up until the majority of the berries were crushed. After the berries reached the consistency I was looking for, I added three cups of white refined sugar and then I added a half of a cup of lemon juice. Um, you could use regular lem or juice from lemons or um, you can use this kind of juice. This is what I had, so this is what I used. I then stirred the ingredients really well and I brought my mix to a boil and then I adjusted the heat to medium low and just let it cook for, it was about 30 minutes that I cooked it on the stove. Okay, so while my no pectin freezer jam was cooking, I started my um, regular freezer jam and I did this by adding four tablespoons of the freezer jam pectin um, I don't know if you can do this with regular pectin. I never have. Um, and I ran out of one container, so I had to open up another container. Um, and then I added three cups of white refined sugar to the pectin. Um, and I did make a mess <laughs> and I had to scoop some of that out <laughs> and try and get the best measurements I could from the excess. After I added the sugar, I stirred the sugar and the pectin mix together really well. You want to make sure that uh, you do stir it really well so that uh, when you, or when it sets, it's well combined and it sets um, the right way. And then I added um, the four cups of defrosted mixed berries. And then I just stirred everything really well until it was really well blended. Um, the the um, instructions on the container say, I think it says three minutes. Um, so that's what I did. I stirred it for about three minutes. And then, as everyone knows, jars are hard to find, but I did find these containers that are freezer safe. And then I just filled up my jars and I got <laughs> just barely three from this mix. And I dated them and I did leave them on the counter um, for 30 minutes so that everything could just set really nice. And after I was done uh, with my regular freezer jam, it was time to um, add my no pectin freezer jam to my containers. And I only got about two and a half containers. These containers are de a decent size. I, I want to say that they are um, eight ounces, but they could be bigger. <laughs> I, I don't remember. <laughs> Um, but this was also my favorite jam. I, I took a lot of time mashing those berries to the consistency that I wanted. And I think that made the difference. And I really felt like this jam tasted more like the, you know, homemade jam that you can, and it wasn't hard. I didn't need the pectin. It was just you know, it was easy to put together. The longest part was just boiling it down. And then I just added the dates and I, um, just like the other ones, I let them sit on the counter. And then after they were all set, I tasted them and 
Um, you can see the consistency. This is the no pectin jam right here, and the consistency was perfect. And then this other one is the regular freezer jam, and I didn't mash the berries up. I, I did that on purpose, but it's a little more runny. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.